Recently, I have received a couple of solar panels, which obviously convert solar energy into electrical energy. So, I want to charge my energy storage device, in this case, a 12 volt lead acid battery. Therefore, I connect plus to plus and minus to minus, and it starts charging. But you might have already noticed that it is not a correct method to consume the solar energy because it is not only decrease the lifespan of panels but also destroy the cells of battery. That's why it is necessary to use a so called charge controller. So in this video I'm going to show you how a charge controller works and can we even build one by ourselves? So let's find out. A typical charge controller consists of 5 basic features. Number 1 is low voltage protection, number 2 is over voltage protection, number 3 is battery charging cutoff circuit, number 4 is backward current protection and the last is overcharge protection. Now here is the circuit which I came up with. It is rather simple circuit but it contains all the features that are necessary for the protection of both the battery and the panels. Now, before going into the details of components, let's first understand how the circuit actually works. The first part of the circuit is just a simple N-channel MOSFET in a forward bias condition to stop the flow of current from the battery to the solar panels. Now, during the sunrise, whenever the panel voltage reaches 10 volt, this 10 volt Zener diode starts conducting and thus turn on the MOSFET which ultimately turn on the relay. This is known as low voltage protection. Now for the over voltage protection, whenever the panel voltage reaches 15 volts, this Zener diode reaches its conduction state, hence the transistor also reaches the saturation state, negative voltage flows through it and thus turn off the MOSFET. Now to understand the overcharge protection, let's assume that the battery is not fully charged. So most of the current flows through the battery. But when the battery charging is full, less current flows through it which turns off the second MOSFET, which ultimately turns off the second relay. And this cycle will repeat whenever the battery voltage decreases to a certain limit. This is how a solar charge controller actually works. Now let's gather all the required components and build a more permanent version on a prof board. This circuit can only handle current up to 10 amps, but you can upgrade it by using a relay which can endure more current. If you want to build something similar, you can get part list and circuit diagram in the video description. After the circuit was complete, I tested out by connecting the battery and then powering it up. And with that being said, let's end this project here. I hope you'll like it. And please subscribe to my channel for more projects like this in the future.